Hello and welcome to the channel. Be sure to share, like, and comment down below. And if you're new here, hit that subscribe button for daily videos on news and politics. Representative Matt Geitz, there's been a criminal conspiracy to undermine President. FISA memo could be released next week. Representative Matt Geitz, a Republican out of Florida, joined Lou Dobbs tonight to discuss the undermining of the American democracy by corrupted officials as the FBI and the Department of Justice. Now, Representative Geitz told Lou Dobbs there was an ongoing criminal conspiracy to take out Trump. He went on to say, I believe there has been a criminal, con criminal conspiracy underway to discredit and undermine the duly elected president of the United States. You had a cabal of people who believe it was their job to deprive the American people of the president they elected, and we can't just analyze these data points separately. It all tells a story. It all tells a story together. That's why it is so important to release this information to all Americans. And Lou, I think it's going to happen in the next two weeks. It may happen next week. So let's just take a listen in onto that on that full interview uh, of Representative Geitz on Lou Dobbs. Meant to disrupt the president both before and after his election. Joining me now, Congressman Matt Gates. He serves on a number of key committees, including Judiciary, Budget, and Armed Services. Great to have you here. Good to be here. And to see a group of you within the House of Representatives doing so much to meet the, the requirement, I think, that is fundamental. The public's right to know what is going on with the government that shows every sign, at least in the FBI and the Department of Justice, at its upper levels of just being absolutely corrupt. Well, and Lou, I'm new to the Congress, but I'm very uncomfortable knowing the things that exist within this intelligence memo that my constituents don't know, that the American people don't know. And it really shows us throughout this entire experience that the FBI is all over the place, Lou. I mean, you know, first they tell us, well, there's five months of missing text messages. That's inconsistent with the inspector general on December 13th saying he had the messages. It's inconsistent with Rod Rosenstein testifying that they had the text messages. And now, lo and behold, more text messages are found again. And so there's a reason why the American people are losing confidence in the FBI. And I think the only way to restore it is transparency. Let's show the American people what's really going on. Uh, there is no question about the requirement for transparency, particular in a, a government that has been so lacking in transparency over the course of eight years of Barack Obama. The actions taken by his intelligence chiefs, the actions taken by his FBI, uh, and not taken by the FBI as well, showing a particular and determined animus toward uh, Bernie Sanders and uh, ultimately, Hillary Clinton's opponent in the uh, in the general election, President Donald J. Trump. I believe there has been a criminal conspiracy underway to discredit and undermine the duly elected president of the United States. You had a cabal of people who believed that it was their job to deprive the American people of the president they elected. And we can't just analyze these data points separately. It all tells a story together. The text message you just showed in the last segment where Lisa Page is saying, well, we've got to go easy on Hillary Clinton. Link that to the emails that Andrew McCabe sent out in the Washington field office saying, we won't use the normal procedures. We won't empower the frontline FBI agents who are apolitical. We're going to suck this thing up to the head shed. And now we see what headquarters were doing with, the, with this investigation. They were doing everything they could so that Hillary Clinton never faced consequences. The special treatment at uh, headquarters uh, that was called for early and obviously uh, both uh, Strzok and uh, Page had gotten uh, their instructions to see them react uh, in these texts uh, to that is uh, it, it's it's stomach turning because uh, it is every sign uh, that one could imagine in these texts uh, it's, it's unequivocal these people had made a determination and they sold out and the undermining of our democracy, Lou, should horrify not only Republicans, but all Americans. And that's why I'm working with Judiciary Chairman Bob Goodlatte to draft reform legislation so that the FBI can never do this again. Anytime there's going to be a headquarters special where we rip an investigation away from the people who are supposed to be doing it and putting it in the hands of folks who shouldn't be doing it, I want reports to Congress, I want transparency, I want stronger oversight, and that will protect our democracy going forward. Yeah, and fundamentally, we've got to do something about the culture that has grown up uh, at justice and uh, the FBI. 
uh, because we have an FBI that does not complete investigations. We have an FBI that is used by politicians in a highly politicized Justice Department as a shield against the public's right to know rather than uh, a, a, a determined investigative agency, a storied agency uh, whose rank and file are expected to be on the front lines, whether it is enforcing the law or whether it is going after our, our nation's national uh, security threats. Well, and you mentioned this collusion between a political party and the FBI. I was sitting next to Mark Meadows reading this memo, and before he was done with the first page, he turned to me and said he never thought he'd see something in his life that was worse than Watergate. And I fear that we may be approaching that, and that's why it's so important to release this information to all the American people. People and Lou, I think it's going to happen within the next two weeks. It may happen next week. All right, and uh, in large measure because of your efforts and uh, and the congressman you mentioned, uh, Jim Jordan and, uh, uh, and Mark Meadows. Uh, and I shouldn't have started that list because it's a long one. But we thank you for all that you're doing. Thank, thank you, thank you, Lou. Congressman Matt Gates. We're coming right back. All right, so there you have it. That was the full interview of Matt Gates. Uh, on Lou Dobbs tonight so be sure to share like subscribe and comment down below let me know your opinion on this report and other than that I hope you have a great day peace